Every year on October 1st, we close Richardson Bay to all boat traffic, and that includes kayakers and paddleboarders and even swimmers. And this is important because every year, tens of thousands of water birds migrate up and down the Pacific Flyway. So from October 1st to March 31st, our 900 acre subtital water bird sanctuary is a safe refuge for thousands of wintering sea ducks to spend six months foraging and resting and even finding a mate before they journey back up north to Alaska. They nest up in Alaska and the northern parts of the Americas and they fly all the way down here to overwinter. Um, so they rest and they feed, and we want to make sure that they're able to save up all the energy that they can uh, by not being disturbed. And these birds get scared pretty easily by boats or swimmers or kayakers, uh, really anybody out on the water. So we close the sanctuary just to make sure that those guys can uh, rest up, eat up uh, without any disturbances. The migratory birds that we get um, in Richardson Bay, there are a whole bunch of uh, sea ducks. So we have ruddy ducks, buffleheads, um, scop, and we also have a whole bunch of different grebes. So um, Clark's grebe, western grebe, a whole bunch of different cormorants and gulls that use the area. Um, but primarily the, the big species that we get in the largest numbers are the sea ducks. Richardson Bay is actually home to one of the largest eelgrass beds up and down the Pacific coast. When the herring come into Richardson Bay, they look for the eelgrass and lay their eggs right on those green blades. The timing of when the herring lay their eggs perfectly coincide with the arrival of the water birds in winter. When the water birds come through, they're looking for those eelgrass blades that are covered in this really nutrient rich row. And that's what they're diving under the water and eating. It's just such a critical piece of the entire food ecosystem within Richardson Bay. It's quite an intensive process to close off the 900 acres for the wintering water birds. It takes several of us heading out in a boat with large buoys that we place around the entire perimeter. Once the buoys are set, they'll stay that way for six months and it's up to myself and the staff to monitor the traffic within the Richardson Bay waters and make sure people are being respectful of the wintering water birds. If a boat does go through the sanctuary, it can be detrimental to the health of the resting water birds. They've literally flown thousands and thousands of miles to rest here, and one single boat on a pass through can disturb 20,000 sea ducks that are just trying to rest and feed. If I could share one important message about the annual water bird closure is that we need your help. We're a very small but strong staff here at the Audubon Center, but we need volunteers and we need community members to help us steward this critical water bird habitat for all the migrating water birds and wintering water birds that share the space with us.